decided to give Taylor and Tristan a little bit of a chance to try and find some lions before we do. So we're going to do a bit of birding this morning. <laughs> My name is Brent Smith. I have Dangerous Dave on camera. And that is a pair of secretary birds. At the moment, oh, one started to walk, but they are just sort of warming up, uh, waiting for their favorite food to get moving, which is, of course, snakes and lizards and other reptiles that live in this lovely, long, luscious grass. And uh, they will eat all sorts of things, small rodents and insects as well. But they've, oh, 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 no, it's decided, oh, it's after something. No, it's decided that it's over this area and going to move on a little bit to better hunting grounds. Uh, the other is still very much relaxing close by to us. And the beautiful secretary bird. Oh, no. I think we're going to get takeoff coming up shortly and get the runway cleared, get our, our signals out. Is it a green for go? Is it a red for stop? They are exquisite creatures. I love the hair, do you? Let's see. Looks like a, a bit of a bad hair day for that secretary bird. Um, just out of bed look, you know, the bed head. But and see, they normally. They don't always have to sort of hunt together, but they're normally within a reasonably close distance of each other. Now, there are a lot of secretary birds in the Maasai Mara, and their home ranges are much, much smaller than you would get in Kruger, just due to the fact that there's a lot more food here. Oh, oh. Now, they use those wonderful long legs of theirs to pretty much stomp their prey into submission um, before engulfing it. Well, the secretary birds have got quite the audience, and uh, being nervy is probably a good thing out here, because just to the left of them, they're Grant's gazelles that are watching them very carefully. There we go, Grant's gazelles and Topi. The Topi, not so interested in the secretary bird, but the Grant's gazelles, probably because they're a bit shorter, um, just waiting to see what they are. And, oh, hello, I just saw, where'd the other one go? Um... The second lone tree in the distance there, Dave, right on top is a Marshall Eagle. There we go, another one for the Mara bird list. Now, interesting thing is I was chatting to some of the guys here, and the Marshall Eagles, one of their favorite things to hunt here is herons, black-headed herons, and there are a lot of them out in these grasslands. So they basically attack, attack them from the air. And there's a sound we all know well that's going past. Ja, 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 crowned blubber. So, there we go. The crowned blubber has landed right in front of us. Now, Fuzzman Sparkles was wondering if we were going to hopefully see some herons and storks today. I'll keep my eye out, but I'm, I'm, I'm away from the wetlands at the moment. I'm out in the grasslands. And, um, here we go. Me. Always reminds me of James Henry. There it goes. <laughs> Our plan, our plan is to head towards that escarpment in the distance there, that, the escarpment. There we go. So there we go. We're going to plan to head towards that escarpment and move back north along the escarpment, seeing what we can find. Now, Wendy's wondering whether Jamie has arrived in the Mara safely. Um, she hasn't even left South Africa yet. Um, they're flying today uh, to, uh, to Nairobi. They'll be spending the night in Nairobi. And uh, then her, Kirsten, and Alan will be driving down tomorrow. So they should, in theory, be leaving around 9.30, 10 tomorrow. So what's that? Should be arriving around 3, 3.30. Oh, oh, has it got something? There we go. Look at that kicking. Oh, no, it's scratching. Oh, it's an ear scratch. I got excited. Um, I thought they might have found something in the grass to kick to death. Nice big grass gazelle watching it there. Yup, who's four years old in 
in, or in Oregon says this looks like a strange seagull. Well, it's not. Um, it's quite a lot bigger than a seagull, and it's got a very hooked beak. So it is a it is a raptor, a predatory bird, and it'll use those long legs to kick and that sharp beak to rip apart any little thing it feels like eating or manages to find to eat. Now, when you're out on these big open grasslands like this, it's very important to just always have a quick check around because if there's a lion or a cheetah and they're lying flat, just that little pop-up of the head could be the difference between driving past them and uh, having a wonderful big cat sighting. So, we haven't spent much time in this area before and... Uh, I'm hoping we're going to get some some luck on the big cat front in this area, or especially up against the escarpment. Now, as I said, we'll try to give Juma a chance, um, well, Taylor and Tristan a chance 